So this is a Boff the Skoda and it's due for its monthly maintenance wash with the local expert detailing company KAVD. Um, we're just going to have a quick walk around the car to start with, uh, with Carl who is KAVD uh, and he's going to tell us what he's going to do for the monthly maintenance wash and um, show me any bits on the car that he thinks will need extra attention. Um, over to you Carl. Hello, my name's Carl, K Valet and Detailing. Uh, I've been looking after this one now for Martin for two years? No. This one just a year? Just a year. Um, new car detail from factory, maintained once a month, every four weeks. Um, basic snow foam, wheels cleaned, all the arches flushed, interior, keep it on top of protection, which is what we're going to do today. I've got a new product for that, by the way, which would be quite interesting. Excellent. Um, just an overall good wash, better than any car wash that you can ever go to. Uh, you know it's done safely, I'm fully trained, approved. And that's it really, it's just a case of getting stuck in and cracking on. Um, I've noticed a few bits that need sorting out. You picked up on um, the big scraps down the passenger side. Um, yeah. Which is normal for around here, <laughs> I would imagine. Bad drivers and big bushes, it's uh, it's unavoidable, unfortunately. My van's taken a battering from it as well. So yeah. Excellent. So, I mean, you, you come every month and do this, Carl. I yep. mean, what, what, why shouldn't I just go to one of these uh, car wash guys that you see, you know, the hand washes on the side of the road from like a fiver? Yeah. Well, what, what's, what, what's wrong with that then? First of all, acid wheel cleaners. Uh, acid wheel cleaners are safe in the right hands. Right. They're not diluted for a start. Um, your wheels are also red hot when you go in there from driving. So all it does is bakes on ruins the finish you've got diamond cut wheels as well which is even worse um, right. it can it can ruin them within an instant uh, so, uh, sponges even when they're using like chenille wash mitts they're not rinsed out properly they're in a big mucky bucket you know the five cars that have been in before you yeah you, they're basically using their dirt to wash your vehicle oh nice um, chamois levers no go drying towels not to be seen uh, it's rush job it's not you know backs of the wheels don't get touched in the door shuts don't get touched it's just yeah but if you were to work it out if you would get this washed for five pound every week yeah or say ten pound every week for me to come once a month and give it a really good going over and it's protected again when i leave it's a no-brainer really you save you're actually saving money and getting a better finish if that makes sense yeah well that, that's sort of how i see it because you, yeah. you 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 do I think they call it the two the two bucket method of yeah, cleaning. Yeah. So, 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 so there's got, two buckets down here. We've got the two buckets for the wash, which are the white ones, and then we've got the black one for the wheels. Oh right, okay. Um, so it's a three bucket wash. So a three bucket <laughs> wash. Uh, that see, again, that mitt there. I used to use that for washing vehicles. It's just got a bit tired, a bit horrible now. So that's now being downgraded to wheels uh, and arches in the bottom of these buckets, which is the easiest one to get out. You've got the grip guards. Okay. Um, basically any dirt falls through there, stops you picking it back up on your wash mitt. Yeah. Obviously clean water in both, shampoo in one, fresh clean water in the other. Yeah. And then we've got another wash mitt there for the bottom of the vehicle. And then a wash pad there. Right. That's far. And, and they're synthetic, are they, those ones that you use? They're microfiber. Microfiber. Yeah, microfiber, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Another good, another good, I mean, I use this as well for wheels. These are a pound each. Right. You know, and you can you can use it on wheels, you can use it underneath. All yeah. right, it looks tacky, but that's never going to touch your paintwork. No. That's for the dirty areas of a vehicle. Um, yeah. Many brushes. <laughs> for all sorts of bits and bats, you know. Yeah. It's just, and then you've got your APCs, wheel cleaner, yeah. all purpose cleaner there for tyres. Even your tyres get cleaned before. There's nothing worse than putting a tyre dressing on and it just not sticking. Like they're doing these car washes, it's just a quick run over with a bit of tyre dressing. You drive off and it's all upside of your car within 10 minutes because <laughs> yeah. it's not, it, it's, it just doesn't work. Right. We've all been there, don't get me wrong. I mean, I used to go to car washes when I was younger, twice a week, um, before I started to look after my own vehicles. 
So we, we've all been there. Yeah. It's just, it's best avoided, I think. Okay. Thank you. The, you do, I think, Carl, is you, you also look after the inside of the car. So it's not just a case of looking after the paintwork and making sure it looks shiny outside. You, you go through the inside as well. Uh, and this being particularly in, in the cream leather, um, I actually had a, a question about how do the seats stand up to, to jeans, because I wear jeans a lot. So uh, what, what, what do you do with the, uh, with the inside? Well, from the new car detail that we did, the leather was protected with G-Technique L1 leather guard, uh, which basically stops any staining, uh, any marks, any marks can rub off quite easily. Uh, with a damp cloth or yeah damp cloth yeah so um, i could do that myself yeah, yeah if, if if i of course yeah, yeah. spilt coffee on it which oh, is yeah, it probably the most likely thing that'll happen it'll come straight off uh, yeah it's a great product there's two coats on there they advise two coats um i tend to use doctor leather wipes as well um to get rid of any stubborn marks uh, especially jean staining as you say you wear jeans a lot cream leather yeah it's not a good mix but you're not going to get in there with the white pants on or like snooker gloves eh? so it's just that's not going to work uh, the other thing with this is there's quite a lot of shiny black plastic good point um, as we said uh, shiny gloss black plastics almost looks like glass but you can see well I don't know if you can see but it's covered in dust uh, a quick wipe over with a microfiber is not going to work on that it's going to scratch the hell out of it uh, the screen touch screen that's another thing that needs treating with care. Uh, that can be scratched easily. And a lot of people, what a lot of people don't realise is the dials as well. That is, it's not like strong grade plastic, so that'll scratch as well. And there's nothing worse than having a scratch like that in your eye line. Um, yes. Other little bits and bats, dash vents, very rarely get cleaned out. Car washes when you go to valeting centres. And my pet here, these shiny dashboards, um, silicon cleaners like your old flash dash that you used to get from Halfords, uh, definite no go. Shiny dashboard, sunlight, it's going to block your vision. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it all sounds silly little stuff, but it it works and it works well. Yeah, all, it all adds up. It and, all and, adds up definitely. Yeah, yeah, and you do the carpets and yeah, all the carpets well. are scrubbed. Any marks in the mats are pulled out. Pedals have cleaned, uh, and that's another pet hate of mine when they get missed. Yeah, it's just a, a, a thorough overhaul clean. I mean, there's bits, there's bits in the leather here that needs to be vacked out. Um, yeah, just bringing it back to factory, really. Well, what I'll do, Carl, now is I'll, I'll uh, let you crack on. Yep. Because um, I've taken up enough of your time, but no, I'll, I'll, I'll come up and take some uh, pictures of, of work in progress yep. and, and uh, take it from there. For sure. Thank Let's you very much. Going. So before any snow foam is applied, the car is given a, a, a thorough um, wash down with a pressure washer, not too high a pressure. Uh, the wheels have already been done, um, working hard here. And the next stage is at the, the snow foam. We've got the cloth now covered in, the, in snow foam. Um, so when you did the snow foaming, Carl, did yep. you start at the uh, top or at the bottom of the car? This is this is the million dollar question. Where do you put the snow foam first? I start at the bottom and work up. Um, it's just, I just find it easier. It's better. You get you get better coverage. You know where you've been and where you haven't. Uh, and then the other million dollar question, which we'll get on to, is which way do you rinse it off? Uh, ah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> you can argue till you're blue in the face. Uh, it's personal preference for a lot of people. I start bottom up. I want to cut through the foam, through the dirt, to the paint. And the thing is, if you get broken off, you know where you've been. Ah, yeah. If you work bottom up rather than top down. Top down, you're rinsing the foam off. Bottom up, you're cutting through the foam, which is therefore <laughs> taking the dirt off. I find it easier that way. I find yeah. it better that way. Um, It'd be, be interesting in the comments below, yeah, won't it? Yeah, it will. Yeah, <laughs> it will. Uh, and, you know, arguments that how long do you leave it? I mean, yeah. it's quite warm today. This is going to start drying out shortly. Um, so, yes, time to rinse off and yeah. we'll get on with two bucket wash. So, then. Uh, how, how long has this been on? This, this has been on about five minutes. 
Right, I mean, um, it's already. Um, it's already starting to dry start, out. Starting to come through, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll get this rinsed off. Marvelous. <laughs> uh, one side of the vehicle done. Uh, there's no foam coming off, and you can see already how much cleaner the car is. Um, just having been snow foamed and rinsed off. Mention as well is before the snow foam went on, uh, we spent a good ten minutes rinsing down the paintwork all the gaps the paint itself uh you're knocking off most of the loose dirt we're just rinsing down uh i, th I actually think it's more important than the snow foam step itself um mm. snow foam obviously helps but that just spend a good 10 minutes just rinsing down each panel um the roof top down just wherever you can the lower skirts everywhere uh, Sorry, so you'd go top down with that with that rinse, rinse. Yeah, yeah, with that yeah, initial yeah, rinse, yeah. Uh, definitely top down, um, yeah. and just just taking a bit of time just to just to give it that thorough rinse that it'll need. Even if it's not dirty, even if it's just dust, yes, it's all going to scratch. Um, yeah. So definitely worth doing that before snow foaming. Well, that, that that's the thing, isn't it? It's getting the dirt off so you don't scratch it when you start touching the yeah. the, the, the the paintwork. So we're like, I'm what? What time? What time is it now? We're twenty-five to. I started ten. started this at nine o'clock. It's twenty five yes. to ten. That's a good thirty five minutes, and we yeah. haven't even started. Not even started yet. washing it yet. Exactly. <laughs> no. So now we're on to two bucket method. Okay. Um, as I said before, that's for the lower part of the vehicle. This is the um, initial wash pad for the car. So into your wash bucket. Yeah. What what is in the wash bucket? In here is uh, this is crystal clean detail chalky wash. Oh right, so it uh, smells nice as it well. It smells lovely. It's really, really slick. Uh, load the pad up, and then washing. Obviously, you don't go bottom up with this. This is definitely top down on the vehicle. Whatever you do, don't go in circles. Nice straight lines. Yeah. And is there a lot of pressure on that pad, or are you just letting no, the pad do just the letting work? Letting the pad do the work. Yeah. You can. This is. Uh, it's usually, it can be quite sudsy. Um, so you can actually stretch it out if you want to do the windows. But straight there. Into the rinse bucket. Again, you're working top down. So next is glass. All right, yep. No pressure on at all. Yeah. Just letting it do the work. So the, and the way that that water is hitting the glass here, yep. is it is it got some sort of hydrophobic coating on the, is it the glass? On, has, on the yeah. glass? Yeah. So that was from the new car detail and regular maintenance. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Right round back of the mirrors. Just being just just being thorough. This is what you don't get in a car wash. Yeah. You don't get the thoroughness. It's just a quick wipe over and everything else. So again, after every panel or a panel and a half, just rinse that out into your wash bucket again. You've got windscreen and bonnet. Excellent. Under both wipers and give the wipers a, a clean as well because they can be they can be quite dirty. So after the two bucket method of wash, the car gets another rinse down. Um, I think that's the one we had where the rinse down, then it had snow foam, then that was rinsed down, then it's had a hand wash and another rinse down. So it's quite a lot of rinse down that it's having, uh, but it's all uh, why, it, why it ends up looking so good. Uh, to use on this today, already tested on my van, uh, believe it or not, it's I don't. You, you don't want to look <laughs> it looks at, filthy. Yeah, you don't want to look at that. It's a good three months now. Um, been this in testing. I've no name of this just yet. I've got it off uh, a reputable company, and I've been in shock, to be brutally honest. What yeah. can come from this? Right. Uh, snow foam on. So it's in the snow foam lance. It's in the snow foam lance. Yeah. You snow foam it on. It doesn't come out like a snow foam. It comes out like. Um, it don't come out as thick as a snow foam. It's a weird, it's really weird. Right. I've tried every single setting uh, and it comes out weird, but when it's pressure rinsed off, I've never seen water repellency like it. Right, so, so you put this on with like it's a snow foam yep. and then you rinse it off again at the end. Yep. So, so far, the only time you've actually physically touched the car yep. 
is when you've been doing the two bucket yep. method of washing. That's Everything it. else has just been liquid apl applied. Yep, that's nice it. Nice one. Excellent. So bring it on then. Ready? See already it's starting to beat up. Yeah. And this is where the magic happens. Oh, it's just running down the windows. Get rid of that. Okay. Get this. Basically now we've got the protection topped up, the ceramic coating topped up. Uh, this is now going to, this bit of water yeah. is going to rinse right. most of the beads off, most of the water off, but in turn it's going to sheet a lot of the water off the car, which means again minimal touching when we're drying. Yeah. So it's just another safe step. It makes drying ten times easier as well, rather than chasing water around. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just another safe step, uh, and I'll show you how it works. Right, let's go. So basically what you need is a nice, steady flow of water. Up, down, and then that's virtually dry. See it better on glass. Yeah. <laughs> and that's virtually dry now. Can I touch it? Yeah. It's right. It's, uh, it's dry. It is, it is it dry. dry. It's bone dry. That is bone dry. Water off. Uh, it's just a simple towel on. And just, again, no pressure. Yeah. And excess water off. It's a microfiber towel, is it, that one? Yes, a microfiber towel. Uh, this one is from EZ Car Care. Uh, right. Picked one of these up in one of their sales and it's it's stood the test of time. I've had this a good six months now. Obviously washed yeah. correctly every time. It's washed at the end of every day so not to cause any damage to people's vehicles. And that towel will do the whole car? Oh yeah, do the whole car. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I have small towels and I end up using a load of them. Well, one of the reasons, yeah. <laughs> but that's one of the reasons why I do the water trick. Yes. Because I'd be in a similar, I'd be in a similar fashion. I mean, obviously, I've got, I think I've got, I carry at least ten towels at a time. Uh, I mean, obviously, I don't do ten cars a day. No. Uh, I've been known to do ten cars in a day, <laughs> working stupid hours, but it's just a simple, nice technique. Yeah. No pressure. Just and, and no going round in circles. Again, no circles at all. Yeah. And the same one on the windscreens. I mean, another way to drive. There's been so many ways to drive here. I mean, some people prefer to lay on, pack dry, which yeah. again works perfectly. Yeah. Or lay on. And drag off. I don't. I don't quite like that technique. No. Um, tends to leave quite a few. Can leave a few marks behind. Um, and you can see here, just in the bonnet, the reflection. You know. I mean, it is, it is absolutely amazing. I hope it comes out on film. But it, it's like a mirror finish. The stage is with the. Henry the Hoover, and the car will now get a, a full interior Hoover out, which I'm not going to bother to video because actually <laughs> I hate the noise of a Hoover and it's not particularly <laughs> interesting. So here we have Boff uh, at the end of the day. Look how beautifully clean his uh, inside is. Um, all of the bits done here. 
Very nice. Fingerprints all off. Uh, it looks uh, stunning on the outside as well. So clean, even the doors don't shut. <laughs> but yeah, what a what a magnificent job that's been done on this again. KAVD. I'll put all the details in the link below so you know how to get in touch with the, with Carl if you like the look of his work. Um, it's even better in, in real life than it comes out on the video. Thank you so much again Very Carl well. for doing Thank that. And well. uh, look forward to next month's maintenance. Definitely. <laughs> She's always, yeah. She'll be back in the diary soon, no problem. Absolutely, well, we'll get all that fixed up before I let you leave. Definitely. Um, and uh, marvellous, I'll put all the links to your business, as I say, in, in, in the thing below. And just for the record, yep. um, none of the products mentioned in this video or um, my sort of backing up of Carl is any financial transactions going on whatsoever. It's completely not product placement for um, reward or yep. whatever the rule is that you have to disclose on, on Facebook. I can't quite remember, not Facebook, YouTube. Can't quite remember, but it's all above board. Uh, we just talk to each other as a very satisfied customer yep. uh, and, uh, and businessman. So thanks for watching. Take care guys.